We are talking about your warm up for Friday, March 27th. We're going to start with 45 seconds on each side of a doorway pec stretch. We'll show you what that looks like. Then two to three sets rolling through this 10 per side of plank shoulder taps, 10 glute bridges with a three second hold at the top every time, 10 bird dogs, 10 slow yoga push ups, 10 per side of a side plank reach through. Here's what that looks like. Continuing with our warm up, we have our plank shoulder taps on the ground. You're going to start in a strong hollow plank, press down through one hand, make sure this elbow is locked out, slow and control, tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder. So left hand to your right shoulder, right hand to your left shoulder, slowly and controlled, 10 on each side. 10 glute bridges. For here, we're going to add a hold at the top. Feet about uh, hip width apart. Knees a little better than 90 degrees, not touching your butt, a little bit far away. You may use your hands on the ground if you like to help you. Press away from the ground. Two, three, and relax. Press away from the ground. Two, three, and relax. Up and down 10 times with that three second hold at the top every single rep. 10 bird dogs. Bird dogs we're gonna set up in a tabletop position, nice and strong, wrists right under your shoulders, knees right under your hips. We're gonna extend opposite limbs without rotating. So we're gonna reach left hand and right foot out, back to control. Right hand and left foot out, back to neutral. The real challenge here, turn those abs on, don't let yourself rotate into it, or from this side, rotate forward. We want to stay square, tight, flat back, reach with your heel and your middle finger, back down. 10 bird dogs, five on each side. 10 yoga push-ups. Let's see if you can see this. I think you'll be able to, my handy dandy kitchen set up here. We're gonna set up in a little bit of a straddle plank. Press your head through your arms, heels into the ground. Swoop through for a big back extension. I like to take a little side to side, press my hips toward the ground here. When you're done, press through again. Head through your arms, heels into the ground. Up and down is one. We're gonna get 10. Last movement of this warm up, which we're doing two to three times through, the whole thing is 10 side plank reach throughs. We're gonna get five on each side. I'm gonna show you on my right arm. I'd like you on your forearm here. So palm on the ground, elbow under that shoulder, feet stacked, reach up. You're gonna reach under and through as far as you can rotate and back to the top. Really challenge yourself on this rotation. Uh, we're trying to open up and really challenge that core. You're gonna need it going into this Metcon. The whole warm up at least twice through, ideally three times. We are talking about your Metcon for Friday. It is four time 150 bag push presses with the giant stumbling block at the top of every minute, including the first minute, 15 bag swings. So let's take a look at our bag. I am again using the trusty orange backpack. Today, since we're shooting this from the kitchen, I am going to use, what is this? This is 12 pounds of the world's best cat litter. So the RX is 12 pounds of the world's best cat litter. This is the zero mess concentration. Uh, if you're trying to get away with the multi-cat configuration, this is probably the loudest thing in the world, right? Whoop. Uh, Multi-cat is acceptable, uh, however, fresh scent, fresh scent is not RX. Technically, that's a modification. Anyway, uh, so uh, at the call of three, two, one, go. So working with your timer, if you're doing this at home, the coach will let you go. The, it actually starts with 15 bag swings. So let's take a look at what that is. This is a version of a kettlebell swing. Take your microphone out, put it behind you again, that you move for the warm up but it'll be more comfortable behind you. There we go. Uh, so if you have weight at home, if you have a kettlebell, lucky you, uh, this could certainly be done uh, holding a dumbbell on end. Imagine uh, your fingers going either side of the dumbbell, swinging it out in front of you, but a bag works absolutely great. Anything that's a little bit heavy is great. In super slow motion, holding onto this thing however you like, we're going to drive your hips backward, 
keeping your chest tall and your shins vertical. So this is not a squat and lift. This is a hip and drive, and hip and drive. You can hold it by the handles, you can hold it by the side. However you get this going, 15 times, after your 15 swings, you're gonna go right into your push presses. So this is holding the world's best cat litter at your chest. You're going to dip and drive, really getting some power out of those hips and legs, finish all the way overhead and back down. If you can cycle these, you can go right into that dip every single time. Ideally, this is something that's relatively light for you. 150 is a huge number. It's a lot. And you have to do 15 swings at the top of every minute. Assume you're only gonna have about 30 seconds to do push presses. So don't do this with 100 pounds, whoever we are. I don't care, there's very few people watching this who I think are gonna be able to really cycle 100 pounds super fast all the time. Uh, something you can do a bunch of push presses, go immediately into those kettlebell swings or a bag swings or whatever you're swinging. Um, potentially, if you have gear at home, if you want to do this with swinging a dumbbell and then do uh, barbell push presses, I suppose you could. I honestly think the stimulus is a little better. If it's a single object, you have to hang on to the whole time. This is gonna put a, a lot of fatigue on your hips, a lot of fatigue on your shoulders. It's gonna be a heavy breather. Let's get after it. All right, we're talking about your finisher for Friday. We have some dynamic movements paired with a hold at the end of each dynamic movement. Starts with split squats. So, to your side, back here, if you wanna find your foot position for the split squat, I like starting it at the bottom of a lunge. So, knee under your hip, under your shoulder, front foot in front of you around 90 degrees, tuck that toe underneath, press up, this is where you start. Nice and tall, down to the bottom, bottom rather, down to the bottom, back knee kisses the ground. Up and down, we're going up and down for 20 seconds. At the 20 second mark, you have a hold at parallel. So trying to get your thigh as close to parallel as you can, back knee off the ground. This is an isometric hold, core on, stay tight, really generating tension through your feet. 10 second hold. Immediately into 20 seconds of burpees. So, burpees are burpees, chest to the ground, right back up again, get some air, up and down for 20 seconds. At that 20 second mark, you're gonna hold a plank. So the top of that push up, pressing away from the ground, squeezing your legs, squeezing your core, engaging everything, super tight. After the 10 second plank hold, into a split squat on the other side. So if we started left foot, Oh, we started right foot. I think I demonstrated left foot. But you're gonna start on your right side, second time through, you'll be on your left side, same thing. Up and down for 20 seconds, back knee kisses the ground, hold for 10 seconds. Finishing on the ground, don't forget to move your microphone. 20 second hollow hold. So find your best version of a hollow position. Legs together, lower back pressing into the ground, nice and tall. Tiny movement here. Your hip shouldn't change. After 20 seconds, hold 10 seconds. You can absolutely modify this one knee in, both hands in, knees to your chest, tiny little rock, 10 second hold. Finally, you get one minute of rest, doing it at least twice through, ideally three times. This is a burner. Have fun.